Hello everyone and welcome to another session of AP Human Geography with Mr. Elrod. Today we're going to continue on with our discussion of cultural diffusion. We were together last time, we were talking about some different terms we use to describe the way that uh, cultures, when cultures meet each other, or what happens in terms of when uh, different elements of culture are transferred back and forth from one culture to another. Uh, today, just very briefly, we're going to extend that conversation and talk about uh, a way that we can graphically represent the adaptation of culture. And when we look at the adaptation of culture, the way it's described is what's called an S-curve. Uh, again, this is a way that we can graphically uh, we can graphically illustrate the adaptation of culture. And an S-curve is exactly what it sounds like. It's a it is a graph uh, with an x-axis and a y-axis that looks like an S, a kind of an elongated S. And we'll look at uh, we'll look at what I mean by that in just a minute. So let me kind of just describe for you the S-curve, uh, and then we'll look at the graph itself. So when we talk about an S-curve, the way it works is uh, it's this idea of culture. So uh, this can work really well, especially if we think about pop culture items, items that uh, are contagious within the, um, within the population, and they move relatively quickly uh, in terms of being adopted or adapted by uh, people within society. I think it also works really well with, uh, with technology items, which would be considered part of pop culture. Uh, it works really well with new technology that's moving out into the, uh, the population. So the iPhone 6 just came out not that long ago, and if we look at the adapt or the adoption of the the iPhone 6 into our general population, uh, you'll you'll probably see an S curve uh, established if we if we graph it out over time. People um, getting the iPhone 6. So when we talk about S curves, what happens is in the beginning you have very few people bringing on that particular element of culture. These are what these are people we call the innovators or the adapters. Um, and so these are the people that are on the kind of the cutting edge of, uh, of cultural adaptation. They're the ones who are uh, the one kind of the first to recognize things that are going to be a part of the, the larger culture or uh, the ones who maybe are the most important so they're the ones who begin to uh, pick up on those elements of culture at first. So if you think in terms of technology uh, you know, the innovators, the adapters are the ones who really uh, like cutting edge technology and plus not only that, they have to have uh, the financial capability of purchasing that uh, new piece of technology. Not everybody has the money to go out and buy a $500 iPhone out uh, of the first time that it comes out. And so these are, again, this is very few people are going to be uh, picking up on this particular element of culture. So what begins to happen over time is that uh, we're going to see more and more people begin to bring on this element of culture and so more and more begin to pick up on that particular item and that's going to continue on and it's going to happen even faster uh, and during this pe uh, period we have what's called the majority adapter so this is the period of time in society when most people find either this particular uh, element of culture uh, acceptable or accessible if we're talking about technology and things along those lines this is when most of your people are going to be picking up on those things. And then you have the last stage, uh, and this is when the curve begins to flatten out, mainly because you don't have many more adopters who are bringing on that element of culture. And anybody that does it this particular stage is what's called a late adapter or a laggard. Uh, and, you know, I would, I would consider myself a self-professed laggard. Uh, pretty much anything that comes out, uh, I wait, and I kind of watch and see what happens, and then... You know, if it works out pretty well, kind of like the iOS 8 that just came out, if it works out well, then maybe I'll pick it up later on down the road. If not, you know, I'll just kind of continue to wait and watch, and if something something comes out that's a little bit cheaper or fits into my life a little bit better, maybe I'll pick up on that. I mean, I just got a, I just got a smartphone a couple of months ago. I found a, a phone and a plan that, that worked right for my budget, uh, and I just picked one up just, uh, you know, less than five months ago. So, I again... Uh, that's just the way that things work for me, and so when we look at uh, when we look at the curve itself or the graphic representation, uh, it is going to look pretty much like that. We'll look at that in just a second. And, and one thing I forgot to mention is that the, with the S curve uh, and with cultural adaptations, nothing in culture is ever going to reach 100%. And the reason for that is because you're never going to find an element in culture where 100% of the people participate in any element of culture. It doesn't matter. You can pick just about any, you can pick anything that you wanted to, and not everybody's either going to appreciate it or like it, or or want to participate in that, or maybe we'll even be able to have access to it. Um, so the S curve will never reach 100%. So what it looks like is like this. Uh, so again, we have the the early adapters, 
the end of there is the beginning of time, and then over time, you have this gradual uptick, and then it becomes either more acceptable or more accessible by society. That's where you have majority adapters, and up here at the top, you have these laggers or these late adopters. And again, this is how we could pretty much, pretty much any element of culture, we could uh, graphically rep, uh, map that out as it moves through and diffuses into uh, society. So that's all we're going to do for now. Uh, when we come back next time into our next video, we're going to be looking into the specific elements of culture, specifically looking at language and religion.